Okay, it's Sunday morning, the 16th of October, 2022. Uh, Phuket Town, we've got a little bit of a uh, water. Okay. This is Montre Road near Sing Ho. Uh, the water's gone down, uh, but I'm going in search. Uh, the post office and uh, Philippines Museum are pretty well flooded, or at least it was a couple of hours ago. Uh, I just got a call from my business that they're closed because uh, it's pretty much underwater now. Okay, we got minivans trying to get back to uh, the brush terminal, it looks like. Foreigners are like, I don't want to go in there, but they will if they want to get back to where they belong. Okay, ten on to long. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit more water than we've seen. Now, the flood of 2017 wasn't this bad here. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Klong is completely over its bank. But we're going further. Uh, I can see further down Tananmen Tree. Looks about knee depth. Okay, that's Bobo Studio over there. All right, so let's continue past the post office. Let me take a few still photos as well. Okay, the water is currently above my knees. Um, I think it's gonna be deeper. Okay. Actually, the water feels kind of good, but I wouldn't want to swim in it. Uh, sidewalk might be a little higher. Uh, I'm going to try to get on the curb here. Oh, nope, it went down. And now, slightly up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're not going to make it, guy. You're not going to make it. You're going to flood your engine. Oh, he's on the high uh, section in the center of the road, I think, but there's one section of higher ground. Oh, wow, they are going to open the post office, maybe. <laughs> there's the Phuket Philatelic Museum. Well, the entrance to the post office when I came off the sidewalk, oh my god. Oh, it went um, almost to my thighs. So my shorts are now soaked in a few spots. All right, and there's a bit of high ground coming up. I'm not the only one who's out and about, but I think I'm the only one that's making video. Okay. Corner of Montre and Pangna Road. I just saw some uh, backpackers <laughs> trying to get to the uh, the bus terminal. Um, I doubt very many buses are gonna be leaving today, but you never know, they're quite heavy. Okay, that's the Phuket 3D Museum formerly known as the Trick Eye Museum. And there's our clock tower. I'm headed that way. Um, not quite knee deep right now. Oh no, they were going back for more luggage. <laughs> not a good travel day, I think. All right, here, let, let's Get off me, huh? Dopey thing. All right. Yeah. And here's, this area is surrounded by canals. Uh, there's a bridge for a clong coming up. Uh, there's one just to the north there. The water's kind of fast moving.
that's the sound of my legs going through the very heavy water. All right. I wish I had a drone. Oh, I can see the water's moving very fast from the clongs coming up. We'll get a look at that in a minute. Okay, the clong is completely overflowed, so overflow's coming in the, in the form of a waterfall. I uh, got a whirlpool coming up, which I'm going to avoid by going onto the sidewalk. Let's take a moment. Yeah, you can see the canal water, and it's flowing fast. Reminds me of a Colorado River. A trick is maintaining your footing as you go through some of these areas. guys are removing debris that gets caught up uh, on the bridges. You see all kinds of manner of stuff come floating down. The park by my house is right there. Okay. Well, I'm going forward. I, I love how they put plastic bags on their head. I think he's getting ready to move out travel day. <laughs> all right. Yeah, just watch your step. <laughs> good day to travel. Everybody's wishing them good luck. Okay, they're kind of short. All right. Yeah. I got some uh, waterfront property to sell you. Hello, good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm not good. I don't think I'm here good. Oh, <laughs> I think it's worse than 2017. Yeah, it's worse. Yeah. 2017 didn't go inside my hotel. Oh. And this. Are you a uh, White House, Casablanca? Yeah, Casablanca? Okay. Yeah. And it's go inside my 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 company and my car. Look. Yeah. Go. Gave me a day off. I didn't want to work today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm swimming. Yes, yeah, sw swimming pool here. Yeah, I don't recommend swimming in in that. You are from the U.S. Uh, from the U.S., but I've yes. lived uh, Phuket, uh, Sipet Pilao. Sipet Pilao. Oh, have, you have lived here longer than I have. Oh, yeah. This is the worst I've ever seen. It. Yeah, it's the worst. The worst. Yeah. The worst. <laughs> The current just wants to sweep you off your feet. So you got to kind of maintain your footing. Uh, streets better because the sidewalks are not much higher, but they've got these very slick tiles. Oh, here comes a bottle. He's collecting bottles. Okay. Yeah, I see drone footage from this uh, online later on, I'm sure. Hard to move your feet. I've been talking to some of the business owners. Oh, they're 
I think they're more worried about their car than water getting in their business. Hey, okay, there's no place, no high ground to move the cars that, that's available for parking at the moment. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there is a parking garage underneath this uh, former hotel, but um, yeah, look at the, the roof there. That's the top of the entrance to that parking garage. Okay, yeah. It goes down. Okay, something just hit me in the back of the leg. It felt like a big water bottle or something. Okay. Go swimming to eat. Whoa. Somebody's plant going way. A lot of them. Yeah, put it on the sidewalk is a good idea. There's a broom salesman. Now if you sell shop vacs or mops or buckets, you're gonna do some pretty good business here in the next day or two. 1979 art studio is inundated most of these businesses are even the ones with the little kind of ledge that are lifted up uh it's not enough really okay the bank i don't think the atms are probably working guy just moved his motorbike up to higher ground but it's still half in the water but I think these little motorbikes they sell out here are pretty resilient to the water. Okay, it's the fancy ones, the big bikes that uh, stall out and need to be all kind of dried out after all this. Okay, that's a uh, bookshop and restaurant and they sell t-shirts and stuff like that in there. Uh, the books are going to be a total loss, I have a feeling. There's another bookshop up here at the end. Let's see how, how it is. It's a little bit higher ground towards the end. Most of these businesses you see, there, there's a sidewalk that steps up a few inches. And uh, there's steps into most of these uh, businesses along the way. They're raised. It's not so slim. But this is beyond any uh, flooding that we've ever had in Phuket, I think. Uh, 2017, I think, was the worst they ever had. And this is... 2017 is nothing compared to this. That's all a very high sidewalk over there <laughs> that the motorbike's sitting on. Okay, it's lower that way. All right, but... Yeah, a lot of these, uh, the bookshops, the books are going to be a total loss. Antique shops, yeah, they're not good. Okay, that's the An An Hotel. Oh, facing again. An An Hotel. Okay, this is Takapua Road, uh, heading towards Family Mart. And down towards Mike's Bar, it looks like it's about waist deep. All right, I'm going to try to continue to Water Watt Road. Okay, the, the water flow has gone down a little bit. It's not trying to push me off my feet anymore. Here's some guy coming through. I don't know if he's stalled out or not. He's been stopped there for a, a, a minute or so. Is he coming forward? Yeah, I see his wheels moving. Howdy, crap. Okay, 
Yeah, he's going through slowly. Well, he's decided it's too deep down that way. Yeah, it's, it's past the pockets of my, my shorts now. <laughs> too deep. I think every road now. Oh. Yeah, that's probably a wise move. It's getting deeper. It's above my pocket <laughs> and there's stairs to go down but uh yeah don't want to go any further down okay oh that there's a high section back in there but who knows how low it is on the way i think it dips down even further Oh, I think he tried to go down Takapwa Road, which looks deeper than this one. Oh, look how high the bus stop is. Okay, the bookshop is very flooded. Glad that's not my car. It's above my waist. I'm on the sidewalk and I can't figure out how to get on the big platform. Oh, it goes down there. It dips down again. There's the circle into Rosada Road. Okay, this is probably the worst I've seen it in here. Believe it or not, I am on the sidewalk. It's to my pocket. All right, here we go. Heading north. Yeah, very deep. Yep. And I'm a tall guy, too. Oh. There's a little incline here. Go back. Uh -huh. Hi guys, they're telling me to go back, go back. It is middle of, uh, just to my belly button here, because I had to walk, get off the sidewalk because there's kind of a block. But I'm gonna get on the sidewalk again. Up and up. There we go, I'm familiar with this part of Yarrawat Road, so I know the dips and things. Okay, I'm not too worried about it. Lots of nasty stuff in the water, you just don't think about it, right? Starting to rain again.
I'm just trying to get to um, Kalong Road and then I'm gonna go east and try to get home again. I think it's much, much deeper here, but it's gonna, it raises up a little bit as you go north. Going south is impossible, it looked like. I saw somebody who was up to their armpits, but I don't know how deep or how tall they were. Okay. Okay, we're coming up on the intersection of uh, Yarrawat. Uh, going west is Krabby Road. Uh, going east, it's uh, Talong Road. Lots of plants floating around in here. I just remembered my wallet is in my backpack, on my back pocket. So I'm gonna have to like dry out the money. Uh, hopefully the ATM card so survive a dunking. Whoops. Okay, there's interesting stuff around here. I just, uh, I think it's a potted plant I just kind of found. Uh, the water flow is strong here again. I can see it coming around from Talong Road. Okay, 10 on Talong. Somehow I don't think we're going to have Lard Yai tonight, the, uh, the walking street market, which is every Sunday. Uh, it's going to take a while to dry out. Uh, medium cafe on the corner. Wow. Okay, I don't know if the owners are, oh, the fans on, okay, so the owners are there. I don't know, I, I was wondering if the, the water just pushed the door open. Okay, continuing eastward, I'm going to cut across the park and go home. Hopefully my uh, soy is not too flooded. Yeah, you can actually see the wheels on the cars. It's a little bit deeper here. This is about coming up on Soy Romani. I'm flashing again. Uh, I'll come up on another clong here before I get to uh, my shortcut home. Although I might take the long way home. Depends on how much underwater it is now. It's getting deep again. This is Pepkissi Tree Road. And on the other side of that is the same clong that we came across on uh, uh, I forgot, uh, Pangna Road. Okay, so we gotta go through that again. And this will all give me back to my, uh, the back part of my soy. Uh, if that's flooded, I know Montre Road is passable. Okay. Oh, it's up to my knees again. Okay, every time I lift my foot, I'm dragged a little bit to the right. Uh, I'm not on the sidewalk, but there's, there's a depression in the middle of this intersection, I think. So, I don't want to be swept off my uh, feet, but it's a distinct possibility. If that's the case, uh, there's high ground down there on the other side of the bridge way down there. All right, I can swim very well if that comes to that. Okay, I'm slowly inching my way across the intersection. Uh, 
my main concern, other than being swept off my feet, is losing a sandal. <laughs> Look at this. Turning water. But the slow guy wins the race is uh, my motto. Think of the tortoise and the hare. Well, I'm, I'm going to be the tortoise here. I'm over halfway across. I'm amazed. Okay. Now all these people are videotaping me. Uh-oh, I'm caught in a... I don't want to get near that drain. You see there's a drain there. But it, water's pushing me that way and I'm not making much forward progress. Okay. Gotta watch out for logs coming down. I successfully made it across that. It was not easy. And there's another little whirlpool there which means it's some kind of drain. Stay away from the whirlpool. Okay. Now I got one more bad spot before I get home, I think. This guy seems to have a little service. He tells the people, take off your sandals and I'll help you across. But he's very light. He could be swept over very easily. Okay. Uh, I'm rather heavy, so uh, I didn't worry too much, but I was still being sucked to the side. Okay, see that's the back part of the post office again. Here is the Queen's Park, with the water flowing down through there. I gotta go that way to get home. Lots of people out and about. I like that. Okay. Just a nice stroll through the park. That seems to be the worst of it. Got high ground up towards limelight. I'm just simply splashing out of the water now. When I take a step, most of my foot comes completely out of the water. Another tributary of the Klong, the canal, is pretty much the sidewalk through the park. You can see it's higher. All right, if, if it rains again, and it's supposed to, uh, yeah, uh, that's gonna overflow its uh, banks there. It looks like about an inch or so before that overflows. Okay, uh, you can see they've got overflow pipes rigged up. There's a couple of really nice restaurants up in there, Raya, and uh, Day and Night. Okay, so they're draining off the water, it looks like, from the parking lots. All right. Everybody's smiling and friendly, though. I think a lot of people are just out to take video and pictures the same as I'm doing. And this is a high area, so I think this will be filled with motorbikes pretty soon. Well, Limelight is an island. Everything else is ocean. Here we go into my soy again. I'm already soaked, so it doesn't matter. Security guards were laughing at me because I told them, oh, this is nothing. All right. I just have to remember where the holes are on my soy. And I'll be home soon. <laughs> okay, shawty crap. Oh, okay. It's deep. This is the first time my soy has flooded I don't think it even flooded much in 10, 2017. It's up above my pockets again. 
Okay, if I just stay in the center of the road, it's okay. Because I know I won't step on anything. Hopefully all the cats are inside. Well, here we are. This is my soy. <laughs> T-Bun, uh, my home is very near now. Holy crap! <laughs> my neighbor. Okay. Starting to rain again. Holy crap! Oh, I feel sorry for the homeowners and the business owners. All inside their home. We have many, many cats on this soy too. All kinds of trash in the water. I have a feeling I'm not going to be ordering food panda today. Unless they have a motorboat. Yeah, I, I wasn't smart. I should have swung over, stopped at 7-Eleven or something. Because I don't want to come back outside if I don't have to. Okay, it's starting to really come down again now. Uh, normally I'm about two minutes from my home. Uh, going this slow, probably about five minutes. Howdy crap! The bitey my? The bitey my? Yeah. Oh. Bandok ma. Oh. Yeah, same T bond, glad glad. <laughs> oh. My god. Okay. Everybody's out and about. There's my mini mart over there. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go in there. I think I no I don't have any uh anything at home to eat or drink. Oh wow, little water in here. My mini mart was dry inside. Everybody's getting food up there. He's cooking. I'm tempted to come back later and get some food. But I got some snacks right there hung on my umbrella. They're delivering sandbags. My guess is too little too late, but the sentiment is what counts. Here are all my neighbors that I know. Okay. All right. Community helping community. It's going to take a while to dry all this out. Okay, that was a deep area. The dog, my dog doesn't know what to make of it. He's like, this doesn't look right. Toys looking like. Oh, this isn't so bad. Oh, dry land. My God, okay. We got dry land coming up. Okay, it's very deep, getting further around the soy. But over here we got dry land. It's the first surface I've seen in a while that's not completely flooded. Further on, everything's underwater. Not my, not my home. Nice. Here we are at my home. There's just a little water in the gutter right before. Look at that. 
and just further down it gets deeper and deeper and deeper happy to be at home love my neighborhood <laughs>